everyone, I'm EK. And I'm Joshua. And on today's episode of Biomimicry and Sustainability, we will present to you the biomimicry idea of retinal regeneration inspired by zebrafish. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So what is biomimicry? Well, biomimicry is a practice that learns from and mimics the strategies found in nature to solve human design challenges in hopes of improving the quality of human life. So the problem that our team hopes to solve with biomimicry is the progressive loss of vision. As you may know, visual impairment and progressive blindness affects millions of people around the globe and is more likely to increase in the coming years. This is caused by degenerative retinal diseases and injuries such as cataract, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, age-related macular degeneration, and even genetic disorders like the Usher syndrome. Hence, strategies to develop natural models that mimic the human ocular functions and diseases are necessary for the therapeutic approaches in the field of ophthalmological medicine. This is where we came up with the idea of the zebrafish model. The zebrafish are able to regenerate damaged cells, including damaged retinal cells. Unfortunately, humans aren't able to do so just yet. However, we are hoping to mimic this fascinating species in their regenerative process. A major advantage is that the zebrafish are biologically similar to humans and they share the majority of the same genes as humans. In fact, not only do zebrafish and humans have the same major organs and tissues, we also share more than 80% of the same genes associated with human diseases. According to a paper published in the journal Nature, 70% of protein-coding human genes are related to genes found in the zebrafish, and a whopping 84% of genes known to be associated with human diseases have a zebrafish counterpart. And what's most remarkable is that both the human and zebrafish eyes contain Mueller glia, a specialized stem cell type that gives zebrafish their remarkable regenerative abilities when damaged. However, ours does not respond to damage the same way. Mueller glia cells in humans do not regenerate due to the release of the neurotransmitter gamma aminobutyric acid we came up or GABA, which restricts the stem cells from so dividing. How does it work? The so cells to fully in utilize this regenerative trait of Mueller glia cells, in response to we would need to inhibit the release stem cells. of this stem cells GABA have the neurotransmitter in humans. Many kinds of specialized cells. Mueller glia cells in the retina behave like stem cells, where they can regrow the retina and replace all the damaged neurons. In humans, we do have Mueller glia cells too, but regenerative does not occur. Researchers have shown that the concentration level of neurotransmitter GABA controls stem cells activities and trigger retinal regeneration. High concentration of GABA in the retina keeps the Mueller glia cells inactive, while a drop in GABA concentration is the trigger to regeneration. It initiates a cascade of events that includes the activation of the Mueller glia cells and the production of various growth factors that stimulate cell growth and proliferation. Retinas begin to dif differentiate and proliferate. Therefore, GABA inhibitor injection therapy is the solution to initiate regenerative process. Let's have a look at our design concept, which is GABA inhibitor injection therapy inspired by zebrafish. Pharmacological inhibitors and morpholinous such as bicuclin, sucurinin, metrazole, benzodiazepine, and flumazenil triggers the Mueller glia cells in the eyes and begins to de differentiate and proliferate. There are certain positive and negative impacts of our design concept, where future researches should be done to improve the design. For positive impact, our design could be used to treat eye blinding diseases, restore eyesight, boost social confidence, and most importantly, improve the quality of life. There are certain negative impacts to take note, which is GABA inhibitors might affect proliferation of other stem cells, such as embryonic stem cells. Uncontrolled cell differentiation can lead to cancer, 
and also other infections could develop on injection site. So the future researches to be done is how to control the regenerative process to avoid creating cancer and also how to ensure the GABA inhibitors injected to retina does not affect proliferation of other stem cells. And that is all from us. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.